Yo guys and welcome back to the Nottingham Forest career mode. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great day. In today's episode we are away at Middlesbrough in the Premier League. We currently sit in fourth place, two points off the top. Manchester United, Everton and Man City all on 14 points. And then we have our third Champions Cup group stage game away at Bayer Leverkusen. No, it's at home to Bayer Leverkusen. We really need to be picking up three points there against Leverkusen. We obviously lost our opening two games against Shakhtar and uh, Sporting 2-1 and 2-0. So three points is definitely a must. So let's get into our first game and go to Middlesbrough, the Riverside Stadium, and pick up a win. Here we go at the Riverside Stadium, obviously going up against Middlesbrough. The last game we picked up a clean sheet, so hopefully we can build from that. Get a clean sheet in this game and also pick up three points because we definitely deserve three points against Norwich. So hopefully we can do that here. And here we go. Three against three currently. Back to Fabio Bruni. Is it going to work out? Go on, son. Nope. Middlesbrough clean up. Pierre on the right-hand side playing it a little one-two with Jordan Ibe. That worked out so, so nicely. Pierre into Abba Hernandez. That's not the pass I wanted, but still in possession. That's not the pass I wanted either from Abba Hernandez. But here we go. Leroy Fur. That's a great pass. Back into Leroy Fur. Oh, going to play it back through here to Abba Hernandez on his right foot. And it's a bad, bad shot. Abba Hernandez hasn't had the greatest of seasons so far. Might have to rotate the squad for league games if this continues. Aaron's on the left-hand side. In the middle to Lee Rafael. Going to play it right up to Piera. Through to Jordan Ibe. Turn it onto his right foot. Put a cross in. It's looped up. Is William Remy going to get up? Nope. He's going to go to Tyler Walker. William Remy on the head. Oh, that was closer than I thought. But why the hell did he header it? Why, why, why not volley it? That was ridiculous. Should have volleyed it. It would have probably been 1-0, but... Goes past the post. Kieran Tierney on the ball here. Trying to find trying to find space and a nice pass. Here we go. Abel Hernandez. He's turned his man so nicely, but he's on his right foot. We're going to hit it across the keeper. Fabio gets in the way and clears it. Throwing in a dangerous area, though. Here we go. Pierre are going to throw it to Abel Hernandez. Hold it up, hopefully. Use your strength, mate. Use your strength. We're going to turn it onto his left foot and put across to the back post. Leroy first waiting. And it's a goal kick. Come on, Leroy Fur. That really should have been in the back of the net for 1-0. Middlesbrough moving forward here. Darun, and it's a bad pass. And here we go. Can it set us on the attack? We've dominated this game so far, but I just need to finish an opportunity. Here we go. Fabio Bruni overlap here from Abel Hernandez. Back into Aaron's. Going to take a touch and a strike up goal to the near post. But it's an easy save. Good start to the match. Half hour played. We definitely deserve the lead, but I just need to finish one of these opportunities. At pro hopefully before half time. Middlesbrough on the left-hand side here. Fisher, hopefully Pierre is going to make a tackle. He's totally outpacing Pierre. He turns back, puts a dangerous little cross in, and Thomas Lamb does well. Hopefully we're going to prevent this going out for a corner. We are, but it's only gone back to Fisher. He plays it in the middle here to Darun. Fabio lays it off here. That's a great cross. Oh, wow. Wow, how the hell did Chrysler not finish that? Wow, that should have been 1-0 Middlesbrough. I was expecting that to go in the back of the net. That was a terrible miss. He didn't even connect with it cleanly. Just come off his shoulder or something. That was ridiculous. In Sue on the ball here. Gets totally taken out. But an advantage here for Middlesbrough. Lay it up here for Fabio. What's he going to do? He's going to play it through. Is Pierre. Oh, what a back heel to Gaston Ramirez. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? What defended by Thomas Lamy has been so solid this, this season. Every single game he's played, he's been so, so good. And here we go. Can it set us on the attack? Fabio Bruni. No one's making a good run through to Leroy Fur. Good first touch around the defender. And surely that's a free kick. William Remy going to win possession. Yes, he is. We totally dominated the first half. We definitely deserve the goal or two. And here we go. Can we get an attack going? Back to Leroy Fur. We're going to try the curler to the top corner. No, it's gone to the bottom. But it's gone past the post. We definitely deserve the lead in this game. Middlesbrough haven't shown up for this game whatsoever so far. Fabio on the left-hand side. Pierre is totally out of position. He's still going. He's going to whip in a very dangerous cross. But Tierney gets up and gets it away. And hopefully it's going to set us on the attack. Barini to the right-hand side is Lee Rofer. Abel Hernandez is currently off the pitch. So we are a man short up top. Over the top here to Aaron's. Is he going to just about keep that in? Yes, he is. Hopefully. Yep, we're going to play it to the back post. Lee Rofer is waiting. Gorgasun gets up. 
It's another headed chance from Leroy Fur, and it's gone over the crossbar. Middlesbrough moving forward here. Fisher on the ball with his back towards goal. He's going to lay it off for his teammate. No, he's not. He's going to lose. Oh, he turns me so nicely. Darun into... Oh, back to Darun. I'm not even sure who laid it off for him. I'm not sure if it was Gaston Ramirez, but Darun. How far wide was that? Cabasele went through Cabasele's legs. And it whistles past the post. Triple sub for these last 20 minutes. Hernandez is injured, so I'm bringing him off. Jordan Ibe, Willem Remy coming off as well. Tyler Walker, Henry Lansbury and Ben Osborne. Hopefully these subs can make a big, big difference and make a big impact because it is definitely needed. It's not been the best of games, just like the Norwich one. We definitely deserve the lead, though. Oh, bad pass from the Middlesbrough man. Osborne picks up the loose ball into... Oh, no, that's not the pass I wanted. I wanted it into Henry Lansbury, but another bad pass from Middlesbrough, and it's given us a throw-in. 15 minutes remaining. Can this set us on the attack? Just about got it through to Henry Lansbury. Osborne's making moves. We're going to play it through to him. And we're going to have a shot at goal. Oh, what a sliding tackle. Aaron's on the right-hand side. In the middle to Leroy Fur. Henry Lansbury. We're going to turn it onto his right foot. Have a shot towards goal. And it's a very good save. Five minutes remaining. Going to whip this to the near post. Tyler Walker, I think that is waiting there. He's going straight to him. Header oh, to the near post and the keeper pulls off a brilliant save. We really should be winning this game. It's just like the Norwich game all over again. Henry Lansbury loses possession. Gaston Ramirez now. Oh, nice little back heel to Forshaw. Into Chrysler. But Thomas Lamb again. He has been so, so good. Over the top here to Fabio Barini. Surely this has to be 1-0 and game over. Three points wrapped up. He's hit the post. Literally a minute remaining in this game. And Fabio Barini hits the post. Middlesbrough corner. Dying seconds off the game. And I'm not sure who got the head on that. I think it was Cabaselli. But it's gone back out to Gaston Ramirez. Here we go. Can we get an attack going? No, we can't. Because the referee has blown his whistle for the second league game in a row. It has ended nil-nil. I know I've, I've been dying for clean sheets, but I don't want it to come in nil-nils. I want to pick up three points. And against Norwich and now against Middlesbrough, we definitely deserve the three points. We completely dominated this game. Middlesbrough didn't show up whatsoever. Look at that. One of their best attacking players didn't have no shots. So third group stage game in the Champions Cup and they're coming down the left hand side here. Bellarabi whips in a very dangerous cross and the striker there bangs it into the back of the net. Not even 10 minutes played and Voland, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly, just gets in ahead of Chilwell. I think that is, why is he trying a diving header? What is that all about? And we are 1-0 down, 10 minutes gone. And the Champions Cup, we won it last season. It's not looking good this season, is it? I need to up my game. Three points is definitely a must because as you saw in the build-up, we are the only team not to pick up a point out of the first two games. So three points was a must in the second game. Three points is definitely a must here. And can we reply straight away? Fabio Brini, we're going to try the curler. It gets blocked. But hopefully, Forrest is going to pick it up. Here we go. We're going to play it hard and low. It's a decent one to the near post. Easy one for the goalie. Corner kick. Hopefully, we can do something here get I need a goal before the break because I don't see it coming in the second half here go Forrest to the near post oh Cabaselli gets up what a header he got up so well 23 minutes in that really should have been 1-1 look how well we got up powerful the player on the line may have got it away but wow that could have easily been 1-1 by Leverkusen down the left hand side here Brandt on the ball hopefully we're going to make a tackle we do James Forrest and he's going to turn his man so so well Who's in, who's in space? Fosu Mensa. Up the first time into... Wanted it into Tyler Walker. But it's gone into Locatelli. Over the top here to Ben Osborne. For, to him to run onto. A touch on the volley. And it's gone into the crowd. <laughs> Unbelievable. The captain for the night. Just smashes it over the crossbar. Half hour played. We definitely should be level. Maybe I could have took that closer to the goal to be honest. But... Oh well. It doesn't matter does it? Down the right-hand side here, James Forrest hopefully going to play a little 1-2 here with Fabio Barini. He's continued his run, but Wendell, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Wendell is going to be chasing him down, but he doesn't catch him. To the back post, Tyler Walker, header, and he's headed it straight back to near enough Forrest. What 
the hell was that? He had so much time. And he headers it miles wide of the target. Unbelievable. I definitely should be level. Better Rabi on the right hand side here. He's going to play it down the line, but Chiwell gets in the way. And here we go. Chiwell's going to keep possession. Don't know how, but Tyler Walker back to Chiwell. Good first heavy touch. Go on, son. Keep going. No one's in the box. Come on. We're just going to put a box uh, cross in. Locatelli, a header. And it's gone way past the post. No one was keeping up. Not even Tyler Walker. He's got the pace. And he just was nowhere to be seen until the last second. That was ridiculous. And here we go. They've broken through. And my defence is nowhere to be seen. Keeper's going to come out and does so, so well. But it's only going to go to a black shirt. Here we go. Come and prevent a cross from coming in. Come on, keeper. Get back in goal. Jesus Christ. And I think we have dealt with the danger. Cross comes in. Keeper should be coming. Why is he not catching that? But hopefully we should be winning that. Nope. Back to Bella Rabi And Fossi Mensa does well. But apparently... That's a free kick, really? Got the ball. Free kick in a dangerous area. I'm going to put someone on the line quickly. Oh, yes. Oh, no. How unlucky is that? If I got there quick enough, I would have prevented that from... I would have headed it off the line. But it's just come off his arm or something like that. I've just run across and it's just like come off his arm and just gone up in the air. And it's an open goal. Two goals for Volland for Bayer Leverkusen. Wow. Definitely not going to get anything out of this game. Gabriel wins possession. Here we go. Can we get an attack going? I'm going to go all-out attack. Over the top here to... Is this Locatelli? Yes, it is. Can we keep possession? No, the defender does very, very well. But for these last, what, half... For the last half hour, all-out attack. Here we go. We win possession with Osborne. Here we go. And he keeps it. Let's attack, attack, attack. Lakovic forward to Tyler Walker. He's got the pace. We're going to cut back. No one's in the box. We're going to play it short. Here we go. Who's in there? Who is that? I'm not even sure who it is. He has a shot towards goal. I think it was a Lakovic. I'm not so sure. Of all people, I don't want it to fall to Lakovic. un freaking believable Here we go. Win possession. Forward to Tyler Walker. We're going to play it up here to Gabriel. First time into Forest. And we're just going to do a heavy touch here. He's got the pace. Go on, son. Keep going. Going to just try and trick our way past the defender. Done it very well. To the back post. Lack of it. He's waiting. A volley. And he's just giving it straight back to... Like Tyler Walker in the first half. Or, although that was a volley. And that was terrible. As a defender, you just don't want to try a volley, do you? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Lack of it on the ball here. To the left-hand side. Osborne's got loads of space to run into. Just going to do a couple of heavy touches. Hopefully someone's going to get to the back post. Going to cut back. Play it short. It's landed to Lack of it. Here we go. Locatelli. De curler to the top corner. And he's gone way over the crossbar. Thought that took a deflection, to be honest. That was a terrible shot. James Forrest going to play it right down here to lack of V. Osborne's making moves. Going to play it over the top team. Good first touch. Hill it across the keeper for 1-1. One, one. No, it's open goal. Tyler Walker. I don't know why I'm saying 1-1. One, one. We're 2-0 down for 2-1. And the keeper pulls off a very, very good save. But we get a corner. Just over 10 minutes remaining. What can we do? Tyler Walker gets up. And there's no one back. Holy crap. Holy crap, they're going to go 3-0 up. Keeper's going to come out. Volland, is he going to get a hat-trick? Keeper totally misses. He's got an open goal. We're going to try and get back. And it's an open net. Wow, 3-0 down to Bayer Leverkusen at home with 10 minutes remaining. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on in the Champions Cup. I and mean, we've had a decent season in the Premier League. Obviously a terrible start in the first three games. But I don't know what's going on in the Champions Cup. It's three defeats now out of three after this. Can we grab a late consolation goal? Here we go. Tyler Walker running forward. Fabio Bruni back to Tyler Walker. We're going to take a shot here. It's a decent strike. I think he went straight down the middle and way over the crossbar. The keeper did not look worried. And I think that is going to wrap up the game 3-0. Yeah, that was a terrible shot. Absolute dreadful. I don't know what the hell is going on this season, especially in the Champions Cup. Three defeats. Like I said, three defeats out of three. And Bellarabi here on the ball. He's done a heavy touch and totally beat my defence. Cabaselli chasing him. Plays it low and hard. And the Bayer Leverkusen striker there has his hat-trick. 90-plus minute and he grabs his hat-trick. 4-0 defeat at home to Bayer Leverkusen. No disrespect to them, but they're not the strongest. I mean, I think on paper we are pretty pretty even but obviously on the pitch it is totally totally uneven i am just playing absolute rubbish and the referee should be blowing his full-time whistle and he does not not for us nil by a leverkusen four what is going on in the champions cup this season three defeats now out of the first three games absolutely dreadful think of this we're the champions league champions 
we're looking to retain the Champions Cup and it definitely isn't going to happen. It's like the Leicester thing all over again, isn't it? Leicester winning the Premier League title and then fighting relegation. But we're doing it in the Champions Cup. So during the Middlesbrough game, Abel Hernandez picked up a sprained ankle. So he will be out for about three weeks. And look at this, Piera. It's nothing personal, boss. I just don't like the country. I'm struggling with the language and I hate the food and culture. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. I'll never be able to settle here. And even though everyone at the club has been kind to me, I think it's best if I get away as soon as possible. Why not say this at the start of the season? Why wait till October? We've still got a few months until January. But after that 0-0 draw with Middlesbrough, we've dropped right down to 7th place. 8 games played, 13 points. And the Champions Cup is just going absolute dreadful. We've only scored one goal as well. Conceded two against Sporting, lost 2 0, um, 2 1, shall I say. Shakhtar lost 2 0, and then just got absolute hammered by Bayer Leverkusen. We still got three games to go, so it, it isn't game over. There is still a chance of qualification into the knockout stages, but in the next episode, we have Everton at home in the Premier League, and then round of 16 in the EFL Cup away at Swansea. Yep, away at Swansea. So that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.